Hi guys and welcome to setting levels on the FA06. Now there's several different types of levels that we would want to set. First of all, each part is going to be associated with either an instrument tone, the drum kit, or the samples. So we can set the individual tone levels and this is mainly good if switching the patch or switching the tone uh, in a performance you want to have similar levels, you don't want to have a giant jump or fall in the level as you switch the tone on a specific part. Likewise in the drum section you want to be able to set the levels of the individual drums so that the drumming is to your taste in terms of bass and snare and cymbals and so and then you have an overall level for the drum sound. And finally, with your audio clips, you, you may have several different audio clips playing and you will have an overall level for them, overall level control for them, as well as to be able to set the level for each individual clip. And then finally, you want to be able to mix all those parts together and have a master level for the whole instrument. So we're going to look at all of those levels one by one. Unfortunately, it's not quite as straightforward as we might like to be able to quickly and easily control all the levels. We have to have a different procedure for each one. Now there's also the setting of the level when recording clips, but that's covered in my other video on recording samples. So please check that, links in the description. And uh, we will now start with the tone levels. Once we're in the tone edit section and the common tab, you can see that we have tone level here. Tone level, so we can set that as well as tone pan and that will give us the overall level for this particular tone. Now obviously if we're doing a preset tone and we want to alter the tone level we're obviously going to have to save it in one of the user memories because of the, the each tone comes with a preset level of the preset tones so that they've tried to match them up at Roland. Now the reason why we need to have a tone level associated with each tone is because all these tones use several different partials and if we go to the wave tab as you can see we can have up to four partials on the PCMS tones and depending on a tone with only one partial is obviously not going to be as loud in terms of volume as one that has four now when we come down here we see that we have wave gain for each of our selected waves we can alter the gain slightly up or down so it's very configurable in terms of adjusting levels to get exactly what we want so this is done within the tone editing and assuming that all the tones are balanced the next editing in tones would be with the individual instrument tracks but before we go there let's consider the drumming now for every drum kit we're going to be able to set the levels of the individual drums or percussion. You just go to your tone list and you go, low, go over to select the drums tab. Now here we've selected a drum kit and as you can see the studio kick is there and we have level 100 here. So for each of the each of the um, instruments within your drum kit or your percussion kit you're going to have a level as well as a pan associated with it so that you can tune your kit 
to exactly the correct levels you want for your various instruments with that kit. Now to select another instrument to edit within the kit you simply touch a key on the keyboard. And as each instrument of the kit comes up you'll have a different you'll be able to set the level for that and you can save it back as a user kit after you've customized your volumes in the, of the individual instruments on your kit. Now in the case of the samples, how do we set the level on the individual samples? touch the three of them together and then um, press the hold button first thing we do is press the pad utility and when we press the pad utility button as you can see it remaps our display here where we can have our buttons so what we would do is uh, when we touch the button now it just moves the particular one that we've selected and we press the sample edit and notice that one of the parameters of the sample edit is level and when we're done we just press exit if we now go to the sequencer let's go to the mixer screen and when we go to the mixer screen we have all of our levels across the bottom in the usual way if I go to the rhythm pattern section and I start a rhythm pattern and then I come back to the sequencer and I go to the mixer and I move to channel 10 and I carry down the level on channel 10 I can reduce my drumming to nothing so I have control over the level I go to channel 16 which is the pad track I should be able to reduce the level there too but it doesn't work go up here to the mute and I mute it instantly it's gone so obviously on channel 16 I have control with the mute but not with the volume the only way to control the volume of the samples is with this each individual sample itself we can go to menu system come across to the sound sound tab and notice here you have master level and output gain and those are independent of the actual volume knob so if I turn the volume knob it doesn't affect that so I can actually carry my level right down and I can increase my output gain or reduce my output gain in um, decibels it's a great thing if you're trying to customize the instrument to work with different amplifiers 
preamplifiers, power amplifiers. And uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.